Hi. In a recent video, I talked about how perfectionism can get in the way of your, your success. But today, I'm going to talk about an even more pernicious problem of perfectionism, one that can actually ruin your life and can happen even once you've reached your goals. So if you're ready to learn more about how to overcome your perfectionism, first thing to do is hit subscribe so you never miss one of my future videos and then watch this video to the end where I'm going to teach you a method to overcome this particular problem of perfectionism. So let's say that you've already overcome all the hurdles that perfectionism put in your way and reached what the rest of the world would see as success. But your life still isn't perfect. There's no way it can be. There will always be some, something wrong or some kind of flaw in your life. But your perfectionism will mean that instead of enjoying all that, the good that you have accomplished, you will be focused just on what is still wrong. And while some level of dissatisfaction is a good thing as it pushes you to further success, when it gets too much, it can get pretty dark. So let's say you set yourself a goal to lose 20 pounds and you were successful. But when you look in the mirror, you're still not happy because your body isn't perfect. A few different problems can arise out of this need for perfection. Maybe you decide that all this hard work just wasn't worth it because no matter how hard you work, your body isn't perfect and you decide to just go the complete opposite and go on a huge binge and give up completely. Or maybe you decide that you're not doing enough hard work and double down and become even more obsessed and extreme in your methods to lose weight, which can lead to a variety of different serious disorders. The biggest issue though is that because perfection is impossible, it doesn't matter how hard you work, how much sacrifice you make, how much sweat and tears and effort you put into perfecting your life, you will never get there. There will always be another problem. And this can lead to some pretty dark places, feelings of incompetence, depression, or even worse, actions against yourself, as seen in some pretty prominent celebrity cases over the last 10 years. When, despite how much success they had in, in the eyes of the rest of the world, in their own eyes, they were still failures because their lives weren't perfect. And this problem is only getting worse with social media because people post up airbrushed, fixed versions of their perfect life and despite the, the fact that the rest of our, their life could be completely messed up, because you don't see that, it just exacerbates your own feelings of incompetence. So the key to overcoming this is to first stop focusing on other people's lives. They have problems too, they're just not telling you about it. The second thing to do is to stop focusing to switch your focus from the negatives in your life to the positives. Which I know is a lot easier said than that. It takes a lot of consistent effort to switch your brain patterns. But a great way that's been shown to do this is gratitude journaling. Each night before bed, you write down three items that you're grateful for that day. And this forces all you're doing it, it forces you to focus on what's good in your life. Now, to specifically combat the feelings of incompetence that perfectionism brings up, what you can also add is something that you accomplished that day. That way, you, you know that every day you actually are doing something to help improve your life. Now, consistency with this is necessary. But if you miss a day here or there, it doesn't really matter. Don't let imperfect execution stop you from doing this. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and share it with anyone else you know who is suffering from perfectionism. And I will see you next time.